Hey you guys, I hope you're doing great and having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, so a couple weeks back, I did a video on uh, 10 dating tips um, to help navigate this. And as we're coming into the holiday season, this seems like, like going into fall and winter, it's like this time of the year where we, I think, notice that being in a couple, you know, is kind of like how the holidays are kind of geared. And if you're not, it can feel really lonely, right? If you're not a part of a couple, if you're not in a partnership, you know, coming into the holidays and this time of the year, it's like, you know, I don't know this, I don't know about you guys, but like this time of the year makes me think about like having a fire and drinking hot chocolate and snuggling and cuddling and, you know, having that person that you love to spend time with when it's cold outside and, um, and to share time with. And so, with that spirit in mind, you know, thinking about this, if you are struggling to find love and to create that partnership that it is that you want, here's what I'm going to invite you to do. It's a big one. Drop the armor. Let go of your stories. Release yourself and free yourself from your past. One of the things that I see um, for so many people that gets in the way of being able to have relationships, connections, like what they really long for is we go into the past and we think, okay, I'm going to do this differently because I don't want that result. So if this relationship didn't work, then I'm going to um, change and do this differently. And I'm not going to do this, or I'm going to do this, right? We, we create all of these kind of rules or guidelines for ourselves. And we think that that's going to prevent our hearts from being broken or a relationship from not working out. And the reality of it is, is that that doesn't work. We need to go and reflect back on how did I show up in that relationship? Was I true to myself? Was I supportive of the other person being true to them? You know, did we know how to love each other? And not all relationships work. We can love people and not have a relationship that can work you know, for whatever the reasons are. But people are holding on to their hurts. They're holding on to their past. They want to talk about, well, here's why my past relationship didn't work. And here's why this relationship didn't work. And a lot of times you hear people blaming the other person. Let all of it go. Heal all of that. Free yourself. You know that, that quote that says, um, dance like no one's watching, love like you've never been hurt before. There's so much wisdom in that because it's this idea of the beginner's mind. It's like emptying out all of your past experiences and saying, it was all good. And you know what? I survived all of it. So I can survive whatever's going to come before me. So let the armor down. If you want a relationship, you have to be willing to open yourself up, to let yourself um, experience love and even be hurt. Because if we put up all this armor to stop the hurt, right? To protect us from being hurt. I'm gonna choose this type of partner or I'm going to not deal with this whatever issue, right? We're blocking the love in. We're blocking the flow of real love to come in. If we block anything, we block everything, right? So the armor has to go, right? You don't have to talk about here's what happened in the past, but just how do you show up today in your fullest, wholest self, right? Being open to it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is we all have a really strong inner guide. We all are intuitive, right? There's no one that's more intuitive than the other person. That's a myth. Now, some people have learned how to tap into that intuition and really gain the wisdom that is available for all of us. And um, I encourage you guys to do that. And if you want to learn how to do that, I will do a video on that. That's something I really am passionate about. Um, but in the meantime, trust your gut. And because what happens is we'll start to feel something in our gut. So listen to that inner guide. And when something doesn't feel right, give yourself enough space and time to feel and see what's there. Is it fear? <sighs> Breathe, you know, is this not right? You know, how many of us have made decisions about things in our life where we knew it wasn't right, right? We all have, me too, yeah, me too, right? So, so we've got to learn how to listen and become in tune with 
what also feels right. We want to let our intuition, our intuitive guidance lead us into love. Let your intuitive guide lead you into love. You know, you don't have to force this. It'll happen. Drop the armor, let it go, open yourself up, right? Think of all the stuff you've survived in the past. You've got this. All right, you guys, happy Wednesday. I hope you're um, going to celebrate Halloween and whatever way you enjoy doing that, and you have a great, great day. Mm, big love to you guys.